Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Black Box by 1010 Music. In this video, I will discuss sampling and resampling. Black Box comes with over 800 WAV files preloaded on the micro SD card. You can also record new WAV files to create your own custom sound. On an empty pad like I have here, press info once to bring up the load and record screen. The first setting to verify is the input selection. To record external sources, set this to L plus R for stereo or left or right for mono. The record settings here indicate that my recording will be two bars in length and that the recording will begin on beat one of the measure directly after I press record. The VU meters in the lower left corner will help you to set up an appropriate level for the external audio. Use the lower left knob to adjust this. In this first example, I'm going to record a synth from the Synth 1 app by AudioKit running on my iPhone. I have the headphone out of my iPhone connected to the audio input on the rear panel of the black box. Before I record, I want to check my incoming levels. I'll make some sound from the app in order to do this. make some sound and I can use this lower left knob to adjust my gain. And now when I'm ready, I want this pattern to align with the black box clock. Normally, I would connect both devices to the same clock to achieve this. But for this example, I'll see how close I can get without doing that. I'll press play on the black box on the one of a bar of the synth. You can hear that they are pretty much aligned. Next, I'll press record and the black box will wait until beat one of the following bar to begin recording. The recording ends and the black box returns to the pad screen. And there's my recording. Now you'll notice that the pad is playing because we set record to play to on in the tools menu. I can stop the app from making sound and if I press info one time on that pad you'll notice that because I used the record quantized and length parameters together this was automatically recorded as a clip. In this example, I'm going to record another synth groove from AudioKit's Synth1 iOS app. It's running on my iPhone, and the headphone output is connected to the audio input on the rear panel of the black box. In threshold recording, we begin by touching the thresh option in the top of the screen, and the record quant parameter changes to the threshold parameter. You can control this using the knob and set an audio threshold that's appropriate for your audio coming in. Currently, the black box will wait for audio to be louder than minus 20 dB before it begins recording. So let's take a look at this. I'll press record and play, and it will just wait. And I'll press a key on the synth. See, it begins recording immediately. It should record for two bars. Turn that synth off, and there's our pad. The bottom four pads have basic drum samples loaded into them, and I've created one sequence using those four samples, and it sounds like this. Fairly straightforward. So the idea here is that I want to record this drum groove as audio into the top left pad. Once I do that, 
I can remove the samples from the lower row and repurpose them for something else. So to get started, I have my pad selected. I press info one time. The most important first thing to check here is that your input selection is changed to resam. And resam is the way that we resample whatever is assigned to the output one of the black box. So for this, I'll go back into um, record quant, make sure that's set to one bar, turn threshold recording off, and I'm going to hit the play button. You can hear that drum groove, and I'm gonna start it here. And now the black box begins recording. Records two bars. In this case, I'd want to turn that sequence off. And I can go back and play my sample. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from 1010 Music.